Babies and toddlers across the United States received their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine on Tuesday, and they were the first in the world to do so. That's after U.S. regulators authorized Moderna's and Pfizer's vaccines for children as young as six months last week. But while the historic milestone was of little concern to the kids, the sound of crying came with a wave of relief from their parents. 14-month-old Ada was the first to be vaccinated at Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C. Now her father, Chinmay Hedge, has one less thing to think about ahead of a family reunion abroad. Well, we're going to Canada you know, in three weeks for a big family reunion, so <laughs> that should be a lot, lot less stressful, given that she's got some more protection now. Hey, Doc, she says she wants to be a doctor. Hey. U.S. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill stopped by a Washington clinic to show their support. It's still unclear, however, just how many U.S. parents will vaccinate their youngest children. A survey by the Kaiser Family Foundation last month said only one in five parents with children in the age group intended to get them vaccinated right away. Get your shots, get your boosters. And let's be clear, elected officials shouldn't get in the way and make it more difficult for parents who want their children to be vaccinated, who want to protect them and those around them. This is no time for politics. It's about parents being able to do everything they can to keep their children safe. Instead of mass vaccination sites, parents can make appointments to get their youngest inoculated in more familiar settings. Doctors' offices, health clinics, children's hospitals, and even pharmacies. For the kids at Children's Hospital, their first jabs are now all but forgotten. Children who begin their vaccinations with Pfizer this week could receive their third dose by September 12 while those who opt for Moderna could complete their inoculation as early as July 19.